in our previous lesson we have discussed in details about the location and climate of tropical monsoon region we discussed that this biome experiences three distinct season and monsoon is a predominant season of this biome monsoon is marked by seasonal reversal of winds that bring most of the rainfall to this region in this lesson we shall discuss about the impact of climate on the vegetation and lifestyle of people found in this region now initially to start with have a look at this picture in this picture we can find different furnitures that are usually present in our rooms like tables chairs cabinets etc now you must have noticed that all these furnitures are usually made up of wood or timber now timber is an important plant product can you name some trees from which timber is obtained timber is obtained from hardwood trees like teak sal sesame etc now these trees are hard compact and therefore very durable so for this reason these hardwood trees are usually preferred to obtain timber now do you know where these hardwood trees are found the hardwood trees like teak sal etc grow in tropical monsoon forest another name for tropical monsoon forest is deciduous forest Now, do you know why these tropical monsoon forests are also named as deciduous forests? Well, in this video, we can see that leaves are falling off the trees. Now, this is an important characteristic of deciduous forests. That is, the trees shed their leaves annually, especially before the onset of cold, dry season. Now why do these trees shed their leaves before the onset of dry season Now if you remember while discussing about the climatic conditions of tropical monsoon region I mentioned that this biome experiences substantial rainfall but the rate of precipitation is very irregular that is heavy rainfall occurs for only a few months of the year especially during monsoon season while rest of the year remains almost dry This is because tropical monsoon region experiences seasonal reversal of winds as a result the rate of precipitation also varies with the direction of winds Now since the rate of precipitation is irregular and maximum part of the year remains almost dry so in order to store water the trees shed most of their leaves before the onset of dry season in order to prevent loss of water through leaves by the process of transpiration so therefore to store water the trees shed most of their leaves before the onset of dry season and hence these trees are also known as deciduous trees which originates from a latin word decidus meaning to fall down or fall off here we learned that an important characteristic of deciduous trees is that they shed their leaves annually usually before the onset of dry season Now if you remember just a while ago I mentioned that hardwood trees like teak sal etc are found in deciduous forest apart from these trees other important trees like bamboo neem sesame etc are also found in this region now all these trees occur in pure stand Now the phrase pure stand implies that a particular variety of species grow close to each other and therefore they are found in a particular region so since deciduous trees occur in pure stand therefore they are very easy to be exploited for timber or other valuable plant products and because of this reason deciduous forests are commercially very important because it is very easy to extract timber from these trees 
Now, before we proceed with our lesson, let me ask you a question. Why are deciduous forests commercially very important? Is it because they occur in mixed stand or because they are found in tropical region or because they shed their leaves or because they occur in pure stand? What do you think? Well, the correct answer is deciduous forests are commercially very important because they occur in pure stand. So, the correct answer is they occur in pure stand. Now, I hope all of you can recognize this map. Well, this map shows the tropical monsoon region of the world. Now, as mentioned previously, this biome is very predominant in the southeastern parts of Asia, especially in the Indian subcontinent. Now, since most part of India enjoys tropical monsoon climate, therefore, a wide variety of crops can be grown in this country. So, as mentioned just now that since most part of India experiences tropical monsoon climate, so a wide variety of crops can be cultivated in this country. As a result, India is also known as agricultural country. This means that a maximum part of Indian population is engaged in agriculture, which is their primary occupation. Now, in this map, we can see that a major portion of Indian subcontinent is cultivable and the important crops that are cultivated in this country include rice, wheat, jowar, bajra and there are also some areas with more than one predominant crops. Now, just like India, other countries of the world that fall in this climatic zone has agriculture as their main occupation. So, in other words, we can also say that agriculture is the main occupation of people living in tropical monsoon regions. Now, due to favorable climatic conditions and wide availability of cultivable land, this biome is densely populated and intensely cultivated. Now, let's know about the major crops that are grown in this biome. Some important crops that are grown in tropical monsoon regions include rice, wheat, maize, gram, etc. Now, these crops are grown by farmers for self-consumption. Now, the crops that are grown by farmers for self-consumption are known as food crops. This is to say that these crops are entirely consumed by the farmer's family and there is no surplus left to be sold in the market. So, the crops that are grown for self-consumption are known as food crops. Now, apart from these crops, some crops are also grown exclusively for sale in the market. Well, the crops that are grown for sale in the market are known as cash crops. This is to say that the farmers grow these crops in excess amount so that a huge portion of surplus is sold in the market. Now, some important cash crops that are grown in tropical monsoon regions are sugarcane, cotton, tea and coffee. So, these are some of the prominent cash crops that are grown in tropical monsoon regions. So, this brings us to the end of our discussion on tropical monsoon regions. Well, now here we have a summary slide on tropical monsoon region. Now, if you remember, in our previous lesson, we discussed about the location and climatic conditions of this biome. 
well this biome is located on both the sides of the equator roughly between 10 to 30 degrees north and south of the equator now coming to climatic conditions well this region typically enjoys tropical monsoon type of climate which is characterized by seasonal reversal of winds that cause most of the rainfall in this region in today's lesson, we discussed about the vegetation and human adaptations of this region. We discussed that this biome is rich in deciduous forest. Now, these deciduous forests are rich in hardwood trees that are usually exploited for timber. Now, apart from deciduous trees, a wide variety of crops can also be cultivated in this region. And as a result, agriculture is the main occupation of people living in tropical monsoon region. I also mentioned that due to favorable climatic conditions and wide availability of fertile land, the population density of this biome is very high and agriculture is intensely practiced here. So this is all about tropical monsoon region. In our next video, we will discuss about another type of biome that is Mediterranean region. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now